Hey, welcome. Uh, just a couple of things that we're going to accomplish before you guys actually show up to class. So just to let you know that most of you will be able to take it for college credit, assuming that you uh, meet this above criteria. Um, for the most part, uh, your grade's gonna be based on tests. Your final will cover 25% of your grade. You will have one final at the end of the semester. This is a semester long course. Your grade will not start over at quarter time. You'll have about uh, 25 problems that you'll need to type up throughout the semester. Um, these are referred to as the hand-in problems. Uh, Microsoft Word uh, has a Microsoft equation editor that uh, you may have on your computer at home. Uh, you may have to actually add in the Microsoft equation aspect of it to your Microsoft Word. Uh, you can also go ahead and use uh, Google Docs, and they do have an equation editor there. It's not as friendly as the Microsoft Word one, but it can still be done there. A um, couple other things. Uh, you will have vocab quizzes. They'll typically be the day before your tests. Um, get your college registration done as soon as possible. Um, for the first two weeks of class, we're going to be spending kind of uh, a lot of class time just working on worksheets. These worksheets are going to be, for the most part, self-directed. I'm going to give you a schedule of where you should be every day, but they're going to be giving you an intuitive idea of what calculus is about. There'll be a few videos that kind of correlate to these problems. So even if you feel like you understand these problems, make sure you do watch those videos uh, that correlate to those problems. Um, after the uh, first couple of weeks, then we'll be doing our traditional flipping of the classroom. So a couple of things that you should be aware of. I'd like you to actually uh, look at the responses from what former students have said. So pause the video and read through these. And then this is what students have said you need to do to be able to be successful in here. So go ahead and pause the video and read through these. A couple other things that you should be aware of. Um, all students can learn math at high levels. Mistakes, you're gonna make mistakes, but you can learn a lot from mistakes and mistakes make your brain grow. Questions are really important, so please make sure you ask them when you have them. Mathematics is about making sense of patterns, so make sure you're looking for the patterns of what's going on. And try to make connections between representing your math in terms of words, pictures, graphs, and equations. A couple other things, uh, when you're in class or for my class, I expect you to be able to watch the video or videos ahead of time, take the notes, and to actually be doing the problems. If you don't do those above things, they expect to have some consequences, which may mean hanging out with me a half hour before or after school. Uh, when you're listening to music, make sure you are listening to music that is streaming music. I don't want you going and changing your music all the time and looking for new songs. If you want to listen to your own music, just make sure you play it and let it go so that you can still focus on what's going on in here. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the Moodle site. So on the Moodle site, you're familiar with the first couple of uh, sections here. Uh, when we get down here, you're going to see your calculus syllabus. Make sure you go ahead and read through this. It's got some really important information, so go ahead and read through that. Um, you're going to be kind of held to the expectations that are spelled out in this. You also have your unit circle reference sheet here, the one for your calculators in case you need one. Down below here, we have your vocabulary uh, worksheet uh, because before every test, you're going to have a vocab quiz. Now, you'll notice for your first test, the CPM, you're going to have to know all these. I will go ahead and give you the word or the phrase over here. You need to write out 
pretty much everything over here word for word. So when it comes to the average rate of change, you're going to have to write this out and this out, including the equation part. Now, you'll notice some of these are italicized. All these italicized words in the first unit, there are only two of them, will also show up on the Chapter 1 vocab quiz. So any vocab quiz will cover all the questions or words from that current chapter and any italicized ones from previous chapters. Down below here, we have our calculator or not calculator, sorry about that, uh, hand in problems. So when you're looking at your assignment document, if after the normal problems it says HI or HI and then a problem number, it's referring to these here. You'll be doing most of these. A couple of these are extra credit. A couple of them will probably be skipping. But these are going to be the problems that you'll have to type up and turn into me. Uh, so just be aware of that. Now, down below here, click on this link, and it's going to take you to the assignment document. And that's going to let you know the schedule of what's going on, what problems you should be doing, when tests are, when your vocab quizzes are, and so on. When we go down farther here, oops. Um, okay, the CPM is the what you're going to be working on during the first couple of weeks here. Now, this would be your problems packet that you're going to work on. And here are some videos that you will find helpful when you get to those select problems. Here's your second packet with videos. Down below are your answer keys. In this case, there's a review packet for your test. Most of the times, there will not be a separate review packet, but a couple of chapters do have that. Down below is where you'll get to what you kind of experienced before, where you're given a video of the lesson, where you'll need to take notes with the guided notes down here, if you would need to copy those off, and then your homework problems down below. Uh, so just letting you know an overview of the website here. Now, just to let you know a couple of things about typing stuff up in Microsoft Word, um, I'm going to go right next to the home, right above the bold, and hit uh, insert. And then I'm going to go to the far right top, hit equation, and it brings up an equation box. Now, I could go ahead, and let's see, let me see if I can get all this to show up. Here we go. So once again, I want insert all the way over to the far right hand side to equation. Now, if I go and hit this, I can do exponents. I don't personally like to do it this way, but then click up here and get the 2, and then arrow out of it and go plus x. Now, I prefer to take the easy way, so I'll go x, hit the caret key off the keyboard, then 2, hit enter, and I get my exponent. So that's what I like to do for exponents. Now, if you have fractions, I'm going to go x plus 1, hit my divide, and go in parentheses x minus 2, and then caret key squared. There it is. There's a fraction. Now, if I wanted, I could have went up here to the fraction script and selected this one, and then typed out the top, and then typed out the bottom. But you may want to go ahead and uh, watch some YouTube videos on this to be able to figure out some shortcut ways so you don't have to click up here and all that because there's some keyboard shortcuts. So just be aware of that.